This is the assignment 11, and I get some question. Ask me how to create a view C only shows a portion of this part. Okay, I'm going to do a short demonstration so you can understand how it can be created. Like this. So uh, this is our uh, main view and this project view, right view, this is another project view, left view, you can see. If we want only show um, magenta portion of the whole part, like this, we can create additional view in this. Or we can simply edit this one. Okay, edit this one. However, because you do want to show this details in and also show the whole part in the right view, so we create additional view. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate create another drawing sheet. Okay, this is sheet example. I'm going to create a new one to demonstrate how this can be done. Okay, so Let's go back to modeling. Let's go back to modeling. Start from here. So if say you don't have this one, okay, so I can delete this one. Alright. So I'm going to create a new one. You can see here it is modeling, right? It is modeling and being modified. So I'm going to say drafting. Please notice this is called non-mat modeling, right? Because we did not create another new file. Okay, we include this one, include this join in the same file. Okay, you asked to uh, what type of join sheet you are going to use? Okay, I'm just use default template A2. Okay, eight, okay. And I'm not worried about those things at this moment. Okay, you can see, right? Um, next, next. I'm going to use the front view, the front view, front model view as my main view, okay, or parent view. And then next, you can see whether you want to include more views or not, okay, right, okay. So this one is the parent view. Anyway, I only want to do demonstration and uh, I don't need to too much views here. All right, so um, I'm going to finish. You can see I want to reorganize this one a little bit so I get more room. Move to here, move to here, move to here so I get additional space like this I also want to move this a little bit higher so okay so we would like to um, mix this one shade it so shading frame fully shaded say apply it okay so this one is shaded this is a frame okay. now I want to create another one right create another, this one okay uh, I can either create an independent base view or I can create a projected view from this one okay so this time I'm going to create a base view so it's independent and uh, I can select the model view. I would like to use the right view. 
okay right view is the same as this one right okay and uh, I'm going to choose a different ratio say uh, three hit hit enter and you can see it's very large okay it's very large it's too large if it's too large I can change the ratio say two at this moment all right so at this moment I'm going to put it here okay put it here anywhere okay so I'm not going to create any other projection view okay so you can see I have the whole object now I want only show this one right I only want to show this one so what we can do here there's a tool here it's called view dependent edit see that okay so I'm going to say this is my view and once you select the view want to uh, modify then add views okay erase object uh, edit entry object uh, edit the shaded object uh, edit object segment and so on are shown here today I will use the simplest one okay simplest one erase object here so you can see how the object being removed from my view okay once I select this one it shows me I may remove this face or remove or remove the whole cylindric surface right okay and uh, I'm going to click this one the line you can see okay so and also click this one you can say face okay all right so you can see all this object have been selected and only this one left here and I can hit OK see what do we have I have the magenta portion of the part being remained in this view hit OK I'm gonna say I'm gonna save now alright what else what if you want what if you want to uh, bring this back to your view what do you what can you do you can go back to this one okay so view dependency all right so here and uh, what you can do here you can delete selected erase okay you can delete it okay once you delete this one then it will get, come back okay it will come back right so you can say this one this one this one, one more thing. Okay, you see, it's coming back. But okay, All right. Let me bring it back. Right. Let me bring it back. Okay. So at one, I delete this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and here I only left the magenta portion. Hit OK. Alright. You may notice you may notice the boundary of this view is too large, right? Boundary of this two is too large. Alright, so what we can do here mm, boundary and I would like to use uh, boundary by object okay so I would like to use this one this one okay only include the boundary only include my object and I hit apply hit okay you can see 
right? My boundary just to fit the object I selected. And in at this time, I can also change my scale. Now I can say ratio. This time I can make it larger. Three. Hit enter. Hit OK. Now you have a view only shows this side. Okay, from this side of this object. You can add arrow and indicate this is the view. Okay, specify what's the view, the view name of this one. So, then you can save it. Okay. Next time, you will be able to see your